On the 8th of January, 1749, the Amsterdam, a ship of the Dutch East India Company, set out fully laden on her maiden voyage to Batavia in the East Indies. Battling severe gales, she attempted to sail down the English Channel, but with many of the crew already dead or dying from an epidemic, the survivors mutinied and drove the ship onto the beach to escape. 230 years later, the rediscovery of the wreck was one of several events which kick-started the Protection of Wrecks Act. Archaeologist Dr. Peter Marsden became involved. Contractors building a sewer outfall in 1969 found that they were operating on the site of this wreck. And so they used their machines to dig into the wreck and they found bottles of wine, bronze guns and so on. Wonderful things. Rex Cowan, lawyer, author and wreck researcher, watched these developments with increasing alarm. Because the Amsterdam contains a complete cargo, virtually untouched from the main deck downwards, you know, and uh, was there visually. And it had an exciting story as well as a story of modern pillage, because, of course, a lot of people tried to dig into the Amsterdam, they stole cannon, they stole all sorts of things out of it. It was chaotic and uh, destructive. Oh dear, it really was. Um, uh, I suppose like the Wild West. It was anything went. And, oh boy, if ever there was a need for a law to recognise historic wrecks, as uh, part of our heritage, this was it. There should be some sort of reining in, some sort of legislation to stop what was uh, highway robbery. It was treated purely as salvage on one hand. I came in saying, hey, this is history, and it should be a historic site, and it should be protected. The authorities were powerless to act, and to protect these national treasures, something had to be done. Certain elements of the public didn't really like the whole idea of uh, history becoming swag. And so a group of us archaeologists got together and we pushed like mad for a law which recognised historic wrecks as part of our heritage. And the Minister for Transport uh, agreed to draft the Protection of Wrecks Act. And when that came in, in 1973, it uh, at last gave protection and the legal status to historic wrecks. It has opened up a world of things and people and places and techniques and the richness of history that you can not find completely by in books or reading, but the things themselves. Relatively few people get the chance to dive on historic shipwrecks, but here on this beach, anyone can step back centuries in nautical time. These rare opportunities, during the lowest spring tides when the Amsterdam is revealed, serve as powerful testament to the nation's maritime past. <laughs>